What's up guys? We're at Inglewood Metro Park. It's Sunday, January 26th. Eli is trying to finish one of his woodworking badges. What's it called? Bear claws. Bear claws. So we're on the hunt for a walking stick for him to dry out, whittle, and make it into a walking stick. You excited about playing with a knife? Yeah. You don't play, play with the knives. knives. It was a trick question. Knife is not a toy. It's, it's not. a tool. There you go. It's a tool. All right. Let's see if we can find a couple sticks. Uh, take them home, dry them out, and uh, see what we come up with. Yeah. All right, guys, so there was actually a lot that happened over this past weekend that I didn't include in the last vlog. And after going back and watching it, I was like, wow, there's there's a lot more to tell. So I kind of want to, I'll kind of bleed some of that over into this vlog um, as we talk about what we're doing this week and getting prepared for this week. But um, one of the... Uh, one of the things that we did, and you saw during the intro, was we went on uh, went on a hike with the family. Um, Eli needed to find a, a walking stick for his boy, his Boy Scout badge, um, so we uh, just went to one of the local parks here uh, uh, in Inglewood. Uh, Amanda found a really nice one, so we brought it home. We found one for Sawyer, even brought that home. Uh, they're sitting in the front entry hall, and. Um, drying out so uh, he's gonna basically whittle it down and things like that I think we've got it. it's about it's about this tall um, but it's a nice it's a nice thickness where he can actually whittle it down uh, we can probably chop about three feet off of it it'll be like the perfect size for him it's got it's a pretty it's got a pretty good circumference so we might be able to drill a couple holes through it and maybe put some uh, like leather straps through it or whatever and maybe you know pericord for the handle but um, he was pretty excited. It was a pretty cold day, so we didn't stay out very, very long, but, you know. So then we also had some friends over, played some board games. We, um, let's see here, we played Dead of Winter, which is, this is a fantastic game. I'm a huge board game fan. Um, if you don't know, I mean, if you can see the background in most of the videos, like, these are all, you know, most of our board games. Um, so we might start seeing that bleed into this channel a little bit, uh, but Dead of Winter is a really good game. It's a zombie survival game, uh, where it's cooperative, but also there's a, a, um, competitive aspect to it as well. Um, kind of like a survival type of, survive the scenarios type of thing. There's a, about six to eight different scenarios that you can play in here. If you've got a group, this is a good one to pick up. So we also broke out this game called Villagers, um, and it's a card game, um, and basically it's a competitive card game where you are building a village of different type of uh, people that have different um, uh, occupations, uh, and basically you have to like, it's, it's almost like a sequential thing where you have to have a certain villager to feed into another villager, like a miner goes into a, a spelunker, which goes into a jewelry maker, and like you kind of have to make a, se a sequence with them. Um, and you can feed off of other people's villages, and there's it's a really cool kind of little card game. It takes a little bit getting used to. Um, it's not it's not as simple as most games where you can pick up and play. There's there's not a lot of actions, but like scoring and stuff like that can be kind of difficult to describe. You've got a group, again, this plays five people, um, and the game, you know, five people games play really quick. So Amanda played a game with me uh, when we first got it, and it turned out really well. It was, you know, about 45 minutes long, which is about that sweet spot for a game. Um, there was a lot of interaction between the two of us. With five people, um... It was kind of like you stay in your own lane type of thing where like you're really kind of not really, I think maybe like two or three of us built off someone else's village, uh, but there really wasn't that, that much opportunity to do so. I don't know if we, you know, it was the first time we were playing with that many people, so we'll see. But still, really great game. And then last but not least, we played, we opened up and played uh, Planet Defenders. Um, this is a cute little, I don't want to say a kid's game, but um, it's for for ages 10 and over, so if you've got, like, Eli's 9, um, he could probably play this when he was probably 7, so I'd recommend, like, 7 
Seven would probably be just right. Eight would be perfect. Nine, ten to keep their attention. It's interesting because all the players control these three robots, and you're defending, you know, planet Earth, and you're trying to collect these derelict robots that have been kind of off on their own or whatever. Um, and you got to collect different types of battery and power cells and things like that to kind of collect them or whatever. And it's um, it's pretty cool. It's a it's a cute little game. And um, like I said, uh, I probably wouldn't break this out you know with all like an all adult table but if you've got like a nine or ten year old planet defenders great game i put together eli's uh wireless card in his computer which doesn't sound like a lot but um when you've got a kid breathing down your neck like hey when's my computer going to be upgraded when's my computer going up going to be upgraded you're just like okay let's get to it today's the day so uh, we got we finally got around to that uh we did have his computer in the tv room for a while there and the the router is like right next to it so he just wire uh, wired it in but when we moved it back to his room there's no there's no wired you know connection back there so we i went up in the attic and kind of scoped out kind of how far it would be and like the two points are at separate ends of the house so we tried to run a cable that far but um the way our roof is pitched uh Basically, I would have to put down like some type of ladder or boards between the uh, floor joists and actually crawl on my hands and knees between like these floor joists so that I can get low enough to get that far into the corner of the house. Um, so after making two or three attempts, I'm like, you know what? Let's just pick up a you know a thirty dollar wireless card. It might work. It might not work because of how many. I think it goes through like. I don't know, like six walls to get to the router. So this little thing, um, this is Asus um, fast card, is actually doing pretty good. We uh, we were streaming some Netflix on it. He was playing some games on it. It says it's it's okay for streaming or uh, playing multiplayer ga games, which I know are very like connection intensive. So we'll see how that goes. He hasn't really played any like huge multiplayer games. Overall, it seems to be working fine. I didn't expect it to work, to be honest with you. I expect this to be kind of like a band-aid and then like sometime when it warms up, I can have my brother come over and we can kind of work on getting that cable run back there. But the way it's looking, it might actually work. So, so then the other thing that we did this weekend is we announced to the kids that they are going to be big brothers uh, in this, this summer. So, uh, and their reaction, well, tell you what, I'll, I'll, we recorded it. I don't know how well it turned out because I haven't seen the footage yet, but we'll, um, let's take a look. So this is how it turned out. All right. You guys know what this is. You all might know what this is. Um, I'm wearing your tummy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who do you think that is in a tummy? Mm -hmm. No, not you. Me. Not you. Not you. What is it? What do you think? Callan? Nope. No, it's not Callan. Callan. Sylvie? No. No. I don't know. It's nobody you know yet. Um, what? Um, me. No, not you. I don't that know what that is. You. No. I do not know what that is. What is it? <laughs> nervous. Nervous Carl. More <laughs> stuff? You want to tell him, Dad? So what if we told you guys that you're gonna have a little brother or sister this summer. <laughs> Where are you going? Where Come are you back. going? Come back. You're have, you're, eat, Sawyer, you're gonna be a big brother. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a baby. This is just more pic. This is just the picture, buddy. We're gonna have a baby live with us. No. Yeah. See, so yeah, it's just more pictures. No, That's inside mommy's belly right now. There's a baby in there. <laughs> Eli seems excited. <laughs> You're going to be a big brother. Are you crying? What's, what? what's wrong, bud? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I just... I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, your mom does that too. I don't know. Why are you crying? I don't know. Are you sad? No. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're not the one I thought would cry. <laughs> Sawyer. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about having a baby? No. We're gonna have a well, baby. It's kind of too late. The baby's gonna be, the baby's gonna be born in August. Don't want a baby. You don't want a baby. 
Do you want a baby brother or sister? No. You don't want a younger baby brother? You don't want to be a big brother? And that's more, um, that's actually more, um, <laughs> that's more, like, Nerf gun people we can play with. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I don't think I'll be playing Nerf guns for a while. Yeah. years older. Well, what do you think about being a big, a big brother again? again? <laughs> yes. Again. <laughs> Would you want a boy this time or a girl this time? Um, girl. <laughs> yeah. You want a baby sister? Sawyer, um, Sawyer, do you want a baby brother or a baby sister? No. What, what do you want, a boy or girl? Only Eli. Only Eli. Well, you've got an Eli. Do you want a baby or sister? It might be fun baby with another sister. one. It's someone you can pick You get on. to be a big well, and a little. Well, what it, yeah. So are you guys excited? Yeah. Are you excited? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. So then on the videography side of things, we completed a lot of stuff last week. And I'm... I am so ecstatic with how like how well we did like on on a business standpoint like completing work for clients and delivering clients work and things like that. Um, I kind of went through the backlog of the of 2019 and ran some numbers, figured out how many more films that we need to complete, and we have 10 highlight films to create. We've got eight teaser trailers to finish, and then five ceremony to finish. So it sounds like a lot, but there really is. It's getting close to the end. You know, the there is light at the end of the tunnel. I can see it. Um, we're making progress. And based on what we did last week, we should be able to knock out the teaser trailers and the, and the uh, ceremony trailers in the next two weeks. So this week coming up, and then the following week. We should be able to knock those out. What I'm... I'm gonna. I'm hoping I'm not gonna be too overzealous with the actual highlight films, but we'll see. Traditionally, it's taken me a little over a week to do. I'm gonna try to cram that down to one week uh, to get one done. It still seems like a lot. I mean, ten weeks to finish films is quite a bit, especially when the last one was on New Year's Eve. So, so we'll be we'll still be hitting that three month window time frame, but. At the end of the day, you know, I am kind of, I'm kind of embarrassed a little bit with how long it's taken to get this stuff out there. Um, that fourth quarter and third quarter were crazy. And it was just like some, you know, in October, we probably had six, or, we had like at least two weddings a weekend. Um, and when you record that much footage, you know, it doesn't leave, you know, when you have that many days, you know, whether it's a Friday, Saturday or a Saturday, Sunday, or, you know, Amanda and I had to split, you know, two Saturday weddings, you know, those days off are the days that we get a ton of work done. So for instance, tomorrow, Wednesday, I have the day off. So I'm planning on getting, you know, a good chunk of this work done, you know, whether it's all the teaser trailers or it's, you know, the two ceremony films, whatever, get, I'm planning on getting a lot of that done tomorrow. And when you don't have those days off, like when you work a 40 hour work week, Monday through Friday and Saturday, you got to shoot a wedding and Sunday you have to shoot a wedding. And then you go back to work on Monday. Like there's not a lot of time in there. And, and when you couple that with, you know, getting hit every weekend for like, you know, six to seven weeks in a row, like things kind of start to back up and it's just like getting it, getting the footage off the camera, you know, is then your top priority. So, like I said, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really excited with where what we accomplished this past week. It kind of gives me a ray of hope that we can continue and kind of push through. And I'm, and I'm hoping with what we talked about in this previous video of rethinking highlight films, I might be able to get that edit time down to like four days. And maybe, maybe it's not going to take, you know, ten weeks to finish. Maybe we can finish in like eight or seven and a half or something like that. But right now, I'm kind of thinking one week per video just to kind of give me a little bit of wiggle room. But believe me, I'm going to really push to get, you know, get that edit time down. Oh, so I don't even think I mentioned what my goal is. So my goal for this week is to complete three teaser trailers and two ceremonies. So if I can complete those, those five videos, I'll call it a win. So I only have one other goal this week since we're focusing pretty much on the client and getting, you know, kind of having a repeat of last week is I want to, like I said, spend as much time on the client work as possible. We still need to push forward with videos on this actual channel. Now we have a video coming out and already scheduled for Thursday, which is fantastic, but I want to keep ahead of that release schedule and make sure that I really have the edited video completed for the following week before the end of this week. So my number two goal for this week is going to be film, edit, 
and schedule the release for next week's video. It's going to be an office tour of, you know, what we've got going on here. It's not much to look at yet, but this is kind of like the starting point of like the transformation of this space. So I feel like this is a good spot to kind of start documenting what we've accomplished so far, but to kind of document where it's going to go you know, over the course of the next 20, uh, 12 to 24 months. So I'm really excited to bring that guys to you guys. Um, it, like I said, it's not, it's not much to look at, but when you have like this vision in your head of what's going where, and this is going to go over here and like, this is going to change and all that stuff and kind of give you an idea of what we're looking to do and how, you know, the systems that we're going to be putting in place to better, you know, organize and and then also have like multi-purpose areas and just things like that, you know, not having one space for one thing, but having a space that accommodates two or three things, right? So, you know, this is a relatively large area, but we still want to make sure that we're utilizing every inch of it, you know, wisely. So, so that's the last goal of the week is to film and edit and schedule the release for next Thursday's videos. All right, guys. So that was today's vlog. I really do appreciate uh, you guys hanging out. If you made it to the very end, I really, really appreciate you. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and if you you know want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. We really do appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.